Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about S Bank Limited. Let me be crisp and clear. We are going to see an important topic about S Bank Limited. Yes, this is the official listing news they have given regarding their shareholding pattern that every shareholder and a new investor should follow as per the Banking Regulation New Act in order to acquire S Bank Limited. Okay, friends. So. Before going to this video fully, one thing I want to say to my friends because low and uh, low price, very low price of 5.5 rupees was seen in S Bank Limited, and from that time on that evening itself, banking regulations has been modified for S Bank Limited in order to make several banks to invest in S Bank Limited. Recently, today two banks entered newly. One is Bandhan Bank and second is Federal Bank of India. And this news they are saying is that this is to inform that Yes Bank Limited Reconstruction Scheme of 2020 has been approved by the central government and the scheme has been notified with the official gazette on March 13th. Okay, so this is the first point. And uh, this has come into force on March 13th, 2020. A copy of the scheme is given to you. Okay. And like they are going to sell it, like the sub clause 8, what they are going to say is that there shall be a lock in period of 3 years from the commencement of the scheme to the extent of 75% in respect of shares held by the existing shareholders on days such of commencement, share allotted to the investor under the scheme, provided that the lock in period shall not apply to any shareholder holding less than 100 shares. In terms of the clause 75% days, of the shareholding of the shareholders holding 100 or more shares will be automatically under the lock-in. Accordingly, all shareholders holding 100 or more equity share are advised to exercise utmost caution while dealing in the script of the bank and guided by the enclosed scheme. We request you to kindly take in the records. Okay, friends. Now I am going to explain this news to clarity. Okay, first, well, first of all, what I am trying to say is that this applicable to two persons okay the first person is the existing shareholders like us who are holding the i mean common investors individual investors companies who are holding s bank limited okay the second thing is that uh, new investors who are going to allot under the scheme though in those investors state bank of india hdfc group and uh, bandhan bank Axis bank federal bank and so on who are the investors who are going to invest in s bank limited okay the third thing is that Provided that the lock in period shall not apply to a shareholder holding less than 100 shares. Okay, so as an individual investor, I mean a retail investor, if you are holding less than 100 shares, that means this rule is not applicable if you are holding 99 shares. If you are holding 100 or more shares, okay, if the shareholders is holding 100 or more, okay, 100 or more, you cannot sell. 75 shares of it, okay. To be precise, I'll be put simple friends. If you are holding 100 shares, okay, 100 shares for three years, you cannot sell 75 shares. You could only sell 25 shares. That means 25 percentage of share holding you can sell, but you cannot sell more than 25 percent. It is the given, and uh, we think that they are given uh, under the commencement, okay, carried by the scheme on the commencement, I think. Now the commencement has been this scheme has been come in force on March 2020. March 13 is Friday. I think so. The record date of this uh, instrument of this S Bank trading, I think so. It is from the March 13. So those investors who are holding the share as on March 2020 would be having their shares and they cannot sell their shares more than uh, what to say more than. 75 percentage or sorry guys more than 20 percentage of holding they cannot sell. So friends uh, to be have a large number if you are holding 1000 shares okay if you are holding 1000 shares you could only sell 250 shares okay you should you should sell or you could sell only 250 shares of S Bank Limited in this year in this the following three years and how this going to impact S Bank Limited share and what will be the latest uh, news after this about S Bank Limited trust me friends I think each and every investor would be thinking in a each separate category. Uh, one person would be very very happy because of this investor scheme like us. One would be thinking what to do again capital has been locked for 3 years. And another would think oh my god I don't want S-Bank but I want to exit. 
those who are holding less than 100 shares okay for all those person i just want to say one thing earlier it was only yes bank now it is yes bank limited state bank of india limited hdfc limited bandhan bank limited axis bank limited federal bank limited lot of investors so each and every bank will have a definite share holding in spank limited it will not let any person to fail into a scrap wait for 3 years what is going to happen if i think if we wait for 3 years we can see from uh, 25 to at least to 200 250 i may sound over confident to you friends but i think it is a reality each and every person should have one spank limited we have traveled a lot of path. past 6 months we have traveled in this news categories all stocks are so now it is a final thing why can't be people wait why can't be people enjoy the profit where all the rich people all the rich investors all the big investors are enjoying their profit okay the only thing how they enjoy means they have a good stock selection pick as well as they can they be silent okay they always be slow and steady and it always knows slow and steady wins the race maybe it has taken 6 months for s bank limited to give this like but i think so it will not let any person to fail down a lot and s bank limited would be a stock which has given a lot of wealth to out of shareholders and it will continue wait for according to us wait for 3 years enjoy your money if you are thinking to put in fd i think you can put half money in fd half money in s bank put that half money in fd and also in s bank limited okay so that uh, it will be nice so i just want to conclude my video to all my friends like because the quarter that this is not still it announced but this uh, this announcement has been announced and i think so this is going to impact the share price on monday which may pull down the share also but we are not afraid if it goes down 10 rupees tomorrow i think that would be the better opportunity that would be the last opportunity to buy s bank limited and i think so i think i think i will in my video now friends if you have enjoyed this video till now then make sure you click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including this beautiful share s bank limited thank you friends once again for watching this video till now